and skateboarding, they're really a part of the same culture. This week on Cooper's TV, we're going to be catching up with Element brand manager Troy Archer as he takes us on a journey of the craft of skateboard art through the ages and its relevance and fusion with the street art and culture of today. Shift your body to me. So these guys are throwing up amazing graphics out in the, in the street on a wall and then applying that same creativity and emotion into doing a board graphic. In society, there's like athletics and then there's like music and, they, and maybe art. So there's like three avenues of ways that you can like express yourself. And skateboarding is all that in one. It's, you know, I guess that's what the beauty of skateboarding has always been about. And really the beauty of art has always been about that too. You know, you can put a mark on a piece of paper and it's, that's how you do it and it's amazing. Someone can do an ollie on a skateboard and they do it their own way and people, they freak out about it because it's done so beautifully, you know, it's crazy. You know, if you look at what skateboarding was built on, other than just the actual act of skateboarding, there's so much to it. And I think, you know, when you look at a magazine or when you look at skateboarding on a very surface level, you can quickly forget about everything that makes it so special. Back into the early days of skateboarding, there was a lot of kind of freestyle graffiti and lettering and right back into the Dogtown era. All those early Southern Californian graphics was all kind of coming off the wall and getting put onto to skateboards and surfboards. If you're a skateboard collector and you like skateboard graphics, you can collect anything from like something as basic as this, late 60s, early 70s, right through to you know, something like an early 90s Plan B board. This thing, which is the Frankie Hill Clint Eastwood, it's called the Desperado model. Christmas 92, I got this brand new board and it was the best thing ever. About 10 years ago, I started to try and find that board again. Um, I ended up finding it. I have a brand new one. I paid like nearly 2,000 US for it. So many different artists around the world that have their own individual style. You can take an Australian artist like Beastman or uh, Brett Chan or Anthony Lister or any of these guys that have done amazing stuff. You know, look at someone in the in the States or in England like Banksy. All these guys have you know their own eclectic styles, and that's really rad. It's just like skateboarding itself. Skateboarding, um, especially the art and the creativity of skateboarding itself is is insane. You know, skateboard graphics are uh, a here to stay, obviously, and I think it's one of the big parts of what makes skateboarding so rad. Yeah.